Alright, welcome back KJ Gang. I imagine that it's kind of a little bit confusion. As so I am confusion! As far as transition wise, unless I was able to figure it out while editing, because right now I don't know how I'm going to edit the first part of this video with the second part of this video. It's kind of still up in the air for me right now, so that, that, that's it. That's all I can say on that part. So basically, if you saw in the first half, which by now, if you're watching this part, you've already seen the first half, where I tried to retouch my sew-in. I thought I gave it 110%, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> it needed 150%. So, sew-in, I lost that battle. But, I have a few guest appearances today, okay? Let me just introduce y'all. Wow. Okay? This is... I don't know. Y'all can name her. I don't I don't have a name for her. This is the first contestant today. The main contestant, okay? This is the star of the show, okay? This is what Beyonce thought she was in Destiny's Child, okay? Um, this is the wig that I'm going to be using today. This is the wig that I'm going to be putting on today. This will be the first time, like, putting on a wig, like, properly, I suppose. Because I've had this wig. I'm like, I've had these wigs for a while, but, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay, so the second one is this one. She looked definitely broke down. Uh, she looked like that that robot from um, I don't know if anyone watches Black Mirror, but that's what she looks like. That baby, that baby, that baby, that baby, that baby. Okay. Anyway, moving forward. So this is the second contestant. I'm not gonna be using this particular wig today for the video. Um. But I do have clips on how I took care of them because I did them both at the same time. And I will be using this wig for some upcoming photo shoots that I'm doing. But for right now, we're going with the real one. So, <laughs> let me specify before we go any further what I mean by first time applying these wigs. I would put the wig on and call it the day. That was it. Um, There was no you know, glues or nude wig caps it'd be lucky if there was a wig cap i'd just stick it on there and go on about my day however that is very very i don't, I don't recommend i don't recommend that don't don't do that part that's i'm sorry <laughs> okay but what i do know is this time i'm going to be using a bald cap or the bald cap method to apply my wig which will be the first time for that and um I'm not going to be doing baby hairs. If you saw part one, you would know why I'm not doing baby hairs. So, no baby hairs today. We're just going to really just try to apply it and still make it look natural. Still make it look put together. Um, yeah. That's the plan for today. That's the plan for the second half of the video. I did do a poll on my Instagram where you guys said you wanted to see this as a whole vlog. Mind you, this was meant to be a two-part video. So if you're still here on this part, you a G. I mean, you must be bored. <laughs> you must be beyond bored. So welcome. Grab a seat. Peep the scenery. I okay, anyway. So let's get into the video. First thing I should point out is why I look like this. And there's two reasons for this. Number one, because this is going to be my first time putting on the bald cap method, I understand that it has to be on your forehead and there's going to be like a lot of sprays. So I'm not really going to wear any makeup yet. However, as you can probably tell, I look like a, uh, I look like a bald lizard, but that's okay. I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyelashes off camera and, you know, finish my my disney playlist and then i'll come back and then we'll start with the actual cap but i just you know i really just want to point out these glasses they're new mm, thank you all right so i'll be right back okay guys welcome back so i know oh, shake it off there i had a little powder okay so as you guys can see, I've done my eyebrows and I've put on some lashes, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of give myself a little confidence boost. This was a risky step on my part because there were two ways that this could have gone. Number one, it could have gone bad and I would have been completely depressed and spent six hours trying to perfect it and fix it. And even though it's not 100%, we got sister and we got cousin over here, it still looks good enough for me to like not want to cry about it. So... <laughs> 
and I got my eyelashes on in one like one attempt like boom boom done <laughs> okay so basically it's time to get into it let's take off the hat bam bam got our, got our bonnet on snatch this off too let's get into the nitty gritty so if you saw my last video you know that I had a sewing for about one and a half months um yeah I was sewing it up you know struggling with it uh i kind of talked about it in the first half if you haven't already make sure you go check out the, make sure you check that out check it out really sit back relax and enjoy it and in the second half which is this one i still i'll be using the same corn rolls they've been washed um but as far as like putting new corn rolls in it just doesn't seem like a good idea to me so there's that um what I'm doing now is really just rubbing some grease through my head just because I don't really know how often you're supposed to take off the bald cap for the wig um I feel like that's important information that I may have missed so I'm just gonna I'm just going about it as if you don't take it off for a really long time and Hopefully that's accurate because that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. So, yeah, taking this, rubbing it through my scalp, through the braids. Because we got to get busy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Pre game jitters, but at the same time, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. I feel like I got this. I did the worst of the worst. Technically, my technically, you know, despite the laughs and giggles, I got. I think I did okay. I mean, I didn't think it looked that bad. I think they've been a little dramatic. But anyway, what did you guys name her? Whatever you named her, comment down below. Because I really don't know. She's about. This is the hair I wore to my graduation. Um, this is the wig my mom made actually. Um. It was real cute. It's about maybe <laughs> maybe like twenty inches. Not that long, I don't think. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the yo. Okay, so I'm using these wood caps that my mother so graciously, so graciously provided. Uh. Basically, here's what I know. We're gonna walk through the steps together, and then we're gonna figure it out as we as we go along. Okay, number one, stocking cap on head. Okay, uh, ears. So I re I re pierced my industrial the other day, not the other day, yesterday, literally, and it's swollen and it hurts right now like crazy. But the show must go on. Okay. I work too hard on these eyebrows, I'm not even gonna cap, so we're not even gonna play games. We're moving forward. So putting the cap on is the first step. Bam, got my little ears. It's supposed to be really tight. It's supposed to okay, let's go like that. Looking like a fetus already. We cap on. Okay, do you, I don't remember if we're supposed to cut the ear holes first and then spray it. Or spray it and then put the ear holes. Okay, we're just gonna cut the ear holes. Um, I wanna cut into my ear. <laughs> okay, there we go. Boom. Small incision has been made. Doctor. Oh, okay, doctor. A little bit of calf work because we done bought the. Oh, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, okay, it's okay. There we go. All right, ear holes.
that was a lot more aggressive than it probably needed to be. It probably caused me a lot more pain than what was actually necessary. But here we go. Got the holes in the side of the head. This one goes up a little bit, but I can't feel my hair through it. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's still closed. Hallelujah. Okay, so now we're going to spray. Mm -mm -mm. Bow. Boom, boom, like that. Mm -hmm. This is different. I'm like eighty percent confident I can get this on the first try. Is that does that look good enough? I think it's, it's burning my eyes. Okay. Boom. Now, um, I guess I let that dry. Do I blow dry it? It's burning my eyes. It's actually physically burning my bowl. I sprayed it in my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the blow dryer and maybe, maybe like that'll help the process. Uh, so I'm gonna blow dry this real quick, apply another level. go in with the second layer because I don't know if I'm doing this right because like how did I miss all of that okay am I supposed to get back here that seems weird Okay, so now same thing, blow dry this one and then and then and that's it. Um, now that it's dry, right, you cut it. Yes. Yes, cut. Alrighty. We're going to begin the first cut. Use cheap scissors. Here we go. Bruh, why did I? <laughs> what was the point of a cap? Okay. Well. Not off to a great start. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Moving forward. Um. Dang. Then what? I didn't accomplish nothing. That didn't work. So. I don't know if I should take this off and try again, or just kind of ignore it. Okay, you know what? Yeah. The mighty have fallen, but the mighty shall rise again. So I'm going to, I got to try this one more time and do a quick fix of this. 
And then I will come back once I get it together. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, could I be cute? Am I a cute bald head girl? Actually, I think I um I think I can pull this off. This is kind of cute. <laughs> okay, so basically here's the wig. Boom. This is. <laughs> I knew today was gonna be a good day. <laughs> okay. 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 Putting on the wig. Bow. Bow. I want center part energy. Oof, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Don't judge it. Don't judge it by how it is right now. Judge it by how it could be. I. So. I think it should start here. Take down some of the big old forehead I got. Let's see if it was all the way up here. No. Probably like right here is good. Put that, I guess, over this piece. And it's supposed to blend it out or something. Like make it look natural. Alright, so I just got done putting down the like a sticky layer of the you got to be blue. Um, feels like gel hold like glue. It better, you better hold on tight. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm not 100% confident still, but we're still going to flow real quick. Clean to my beauty brushes. Look at them, look like new people. Like, I'm trying to look at them in this video, you dig? So, I'm basically gonna take this flat brush. Um, is this a flat one? Yeah, this is just a flat brush. Uh, and take this kind of darker foundation powder contour type thing. I saw some people use bronzer, but the top of my forehead is a lot darker than the rest of my face, which is how I like it naturally because it helps with contouring and hiding my big forehead. Or what I thought was my big forehead because as I see now my hair comes all the way out here so obviously not that big and I'm just blending it in blending in the top of it it's already new but I just want to seal up a deal you know also I really love this bald head vibe I mean not even a brag but I really like it like, I could pull it off being bald headed. Maybe. I don't think I'd ever go completely bald headed, but. For now, this is really aesthetically pleasing for me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Strut. Placing it on the glue. All right, I'm not even gonna cap with y'all. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like like Floyd in this mate weather. Did I do? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so <laughs> that would look scalp to me. What do you look like that to you? It looks like scalp to me. So, you know. <laughs> you know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how to act with long hair for real. It is just. So, we are feeling good. Okay. As you can kind of see, some of the baby hairs are already here. Mm. Like right there, that's the big hair. Mm. Yeah, so I think I already explained I don't want to do baby hairs. So I'm going to take these braids out and do my makeup. And maybe like lay the front down a little bit. And we're going to see how this looks, y'all. This is... <laughs> it feels pretty secure, like... Okay, so I'm gonna come back with this full beat, everything like that. We're gonna see what it was. <laughs> Chef's kiss or not, okay? Alright, so I'll be back and stay tuned. <laughs> Alright. 
I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but, um, feeling like Gucci Man in 2006 like <laughs> mm, I didn't know that the length ooh ah what ooh mm. so I did just finish the makeup look I did finish concealing the top I'm not even gonna cap um I mean, I'm pretty proud. I could be completely off, but I mean, <laughs> wow, iconic. I mean, I did that. I did that by myself, all by myself. No help, just me. <laughs> so this is the first time that I have laid a lace front wig. Um, I hope it was detailed as much as I could possibly do it. Um, like I said, I am in the wish of perform a hair guru. I know that there were a lot of parts where I definitely struggled um, in both the sew-in and this part, the lace front wig. The hardest part that I can say looking back was probably, probably the cutting for me, getting it not too far up and not too far down but still maintaining it flat against my head. That was really difficult. I cut too far up on a lot of different places, but for the most part, I think it came out okay. I like it. I feel a little, I feel a little bougie. I feel a little. Give me all. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put some clips in here at the end just to show the length so that I can really show off. But um, I just wanted to show you guys basically how it looked. Um. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm going to put some clips in. Um, and yeah, that is the end of this video. I kind of hope, I kind of hope it kind of helped. Um, it was entertaining. It was, you know, excuse little fat jokes. I'm really good. I hope it was really entertaining for some people. I know that this is quarantine and is bored and I don't post as often as I should. I am going to be working on that more, setting up more frequent schedules, but you can follow me on my social medias. I'll put them right here. Um, I do post a lot more on those, so there's that. Um, but yeah, so far, I mean, quarantine's lit. The introvert's dream. Um, I haven't had long hair in a minute. I don't know how to act. I don't know who I am. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for today's video. It is your girl KJ. This is KJ's world. Every day I want to inspire you guys to be ready. Ain't it? Love yourself. Love others.